honestly, YouTube, this update is pretty dope. I've had a chance to toy with it just a little bit prior to making this video. I took a couple seconds just to understand how it works so that I can make this video. It is in beta version, but Streamer View is being added to the application on Voice Meter. This is a huge update for us content creators who also use Voice Meter for streaming. It's going to bring a different tool that we can put in our arsenal while we're streaming in order to have more control as a streamer. More importantly, things like Touch Portal and stuff like that will have access to the stream review, making it easier when creating volume sliders and that sort of stuff within the top Touch Portal application. This is a game changer, and I am so excited to show you what it looks like and how it's going to run. All right, y'all, so in order to utilize this new streamer view, what you have to do is first open your voice meter application. I do believe that it is only with voice meter potato. We will test that later in this video. So what I have to do first is open voice meter potato, and then we're going to go into the search here and we're going to open up what is called VM streamer view. This is the streamer view that I'm super excited about. When you open this up, if you don't have anything labeled, there's not going to be anything here but the uh, the A1 uh, volume strip. So in order to get things to pop up within the voice meter streamer view, what we have to do is go through and label our inputs, right? So once I label this microphone, I will label this browser, I will label this game audio or gamer, that's fine. I will label this comms and I will label this music. Now, if we take a look at the voice meter stream review, I have five strips, five input strips added to that application. Very simple design, very simple UI. All it is is the volume sliders and some simple controls. This is an amazing tool. I'm very excited for it. So let's take a look at some of the functionalities of the stream review. Keep in mind, guys, there are going to be some bugs. This is in beta. So if we find any bugs along the way, Vincent, at least we found them, right? I first want to just test the volume slider function, right? So I'm going to slide this this music strip. We bring it up. It's adjusting the, the VIO3 strip that's on voice meter. I bring it down. It's bringing it down. It looks like it's not going to go down that negative 15.5 decibels, which was previously set, um, which that looks like. That is a bug, but how cool is that? Um, so the volume sliders mostly work, but they don't work past what's been set in voice meter already, which is kind of interesting. The buttons work. So when we toggle A1 on these sources, it's going to either shut off A1 or turn on A1. I'm interested in what these in and outs are referring to as far as VIN number one, VIN number two. Um, and why we have a toggle here. I'm not exactly sure what these buttons here are doing. My assumption is that these are muting buttons. So let me test that real quick. Let me get some music playing. All right, so I have vol uh, music playing now. Um, so the volume actually, the volume slider works, um, even though it's not changing the UI here, it is in fact changing the volume in my ears and what I, in my ears and what I'm hearing. So that's a good sign. However, this is not a mute button. So I'm not exactly sure what that button does yet. So let's try and figure that out. Well, um, so I went through a lot of different settings trying to figure out what these buttons up here do. My instinct tells me that they're not functioning correctly, um, but my first thought was that they are related to like the patch composites or the patch inserts in some sort of way. So toggling these on is going to toggle on, uh, you know, a different patch or something like that, depending on what you set. I, I'm not exactly sure exactly like what's happening there, or I'm pretty sure that they're, they might just be uh, mute buttons um, considering this was already red when I opened up stream review and I have my microphone source muted currently so 
it could just be a mute thing and the ui is not updating because it's just not fully functional yet which is totally fine right and totally understandable the last thing that i was trying to figure out is how to get other output buses down here on this customizable gui um, and keep in mind guys this is just an example from what i understand they're trying to show us what can be done with a remote api and you know having someone go in and create their own uh custom functions i believe the streamer view is just an example of what you can do using the voice meter um api and creating your own custom gui um for example which is interesting because i would like to see somebody create one and then send it to me so that i can you know show my community and or give it to my community um that would be really cool to see we also want to test and see if it works with voice meter banana so instead of opening voice meter potato i'm going to open voice meter banana now that that's open i will go ahead and open streamer view and i will label this microphone and it looks like it does in fact work uh, with voice meter banana as well which is a fantastic sign i think the most important takeaway from this even though this was a ridiculously short video i just wanted to show off this new thing that i thought was awesome and i thought you guys would appreciate me informing you about the biggest takeaway um regardless if they make updates to the stream review or not uh, the volume sliders work which is very cool however i would like to see the streamer view be an independent app on its own i really do think there's a huge value to be added to the entire community as a whole uh, from voice meter if they took their application and simplified it into something like streamer view where you can set up your inputs and outputs and you don't have all this other mess going on that you don't need I think that that is very important that an application like that gets developed from voice meter in order to make our lives easier, especially for people that don't have any interest in all the tools that voice meter offers. I think it's really important to also provide value to those that want to use voice meter, but they don't want to use the entire application. Um, so having that as a function would be a huge deal for a lot of people. Um, not only that, not everyone can, you know, create their own application on top of an API. I have absolutely no idea how to do any of that myself. So with that in mind, you know, expecting people to go out of their way and create a custom um, UI for themselves using the remote API that Voice Meter offers is a bit of a stretch in my opinion as far as what the community is capable of doing. So that's just some things to think about voice meter as a company maybe consider consider actually developing this into an application because i'm sure people would use it and if you would use it let us know in the comment section below there's no better way to uh, clarify that point than to have a community full of people saying yes we would love this application to be built so get on it get in the comment section let them know Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like this. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.